The Bengals' initial 53-man roster is set. Let's react to it, share some thoughts, and yes, there were some surprises. Hi again, everyone, and welcome in to Cincinnati Bengals Talk. I'm James Erpine of AllBengals.com, and... Well, cut down day was Tuesday and the Bengals roster, well, it's trimmed to 53 and let's dive on in. And by the way, a quick reminder to make sure you check out Bengals on the Brain with Joe Goodberry tonight at 8 Eastern time. He spotlights Chris Evans. And well, there was a surprise with Travion Williams making this team initially for running backs. The Bengals decided to keep obviously Joe Mixon, Samaj P. Ryan, Chris Evans. Those three were shoe ins Travion Williams, certainly a surprise. He makes the 53-man roster. And first, before we do that, let's do the biggest surprises, and then I'll talk about exactly who got released, why they got released, et cetera. So I think the biggest one is probably Drew Chrisman. It felt like Kevin Huber, uh, it might have been it. It, That Saturday night might have been his last game as a member of the Bengals. But Drew Chrisman must not have done enough to impress this coaching staff, and I think it's an interesting move. Uh, I'm certainly not going to lose sleep over the punter job, especially because both guys did a good job holding. And that's what I've seen, like, oh, well, Drew Chrisman, holding-wise, did they trust him? He was great as a holder for Evan McPherson throughout training camp in the preseason. So I don't think that was necessarily it. 13 years, a lot of trust, a lot of equity built up. I look at the numbers, three punts inside the 20 this preseason for Kevin Huber, only one for Drew Chrisman, had that really long 65-yard touchback. That matters. And and so I think that that was certainly a part of the Bengals' decision-making there. Um, guys that I, I think surprised a, a lot of the fan base um, would be you know the two wide receivers, Kwame Lasseter, Kendrick Pryor, both of those guys getting released. And I think most people will see that and say, what What are you talking about? Those guys put up numbers. And I, I wrote about their exact preseason numbers. Both had double-digit catches, 100-plus yards in three preseason games. They flashed. They flashed in camp. They made plays. But And I've tried to hammer this home here and also on the Locked on Bengals podcast. There are preseason wide receivers that make big plays across the league. right? And so that's the part of it. Like, are, are we sure that Trent Irwin can't go out there and do that? Oh, well, yeah, he could. We saw that in preseason week three, even though he didn't show up and, and flash as much the first couple of weeks. You're telling me Mike Thomas can't do that? By the way, both guys released. I'll explain why Mike Thomas was released in a second. Trent Irwin also released. I think the Bengals are going to get at least two of those three back on the practice squad. And that's the the good part of where they're at right now is you can see those flashes and stash Kwame Lasseter, and stash, uh, you know, a, a guy like Kendrick Pryor, even though he flashed, and stash a Trent Irwin, even though he had nine catches in the finale. I, I, I'm, I'm looking at this, and, and to me, uh, you, you know, th- there isn't, there, there's not many surprises. There aren't many things. I'm just looking at who was released here. Many things that shock me. Here's what I will say, though. The five receivers, and the reason Mike Thomas also got cut, because I know some are like, I told you, James, Mike Thomas got cut. He's coming back. What it is is he's a vested veteran, so he is not subject to waivers, meaning if you release him, another team can't claim him and say, we want Mike Thomas. So the reason you release a guy like Mike Thomas is to get a um, one of these guys that are injured to the 53-man roster so you can put him on one of these lists so that he can come back this year. Right. And to me, that that could be Cam Taylor Britt, right, as he recovers from that core muscle surgery. Alan George made the 53 man roster. So that's a sign that Cam Taylor Britt might not be able to start the season on time, which uh, would not be shocked at all. Um, But but someone in that range, someone of that ilk, um, they also released Trayvon Henderson and Noah Spence. I think those guys are practice squad candidates. Mike Thomas, I think, is going to end up on the 53 man roster. Um, But but just looking at this team, there, there aren't many shocks to me there aren't many surprises and naturally there weren't going to be um looking at it here i'm just trying to see if anything you know stands out college cream's the other one by the way that i as i stall uh injury wise i think that could i repeat could be a, a, a guy that um he's on the roster right now they put him on one of these injury lists and and protect him from waivers things like that keep him around don't shut him down for the year 
um, but but then also free up a spot for a Mike Thomas. They also have Jesse Bates's roster exemption for now for another week up until September 6th. That bodes well for them because that gives them an extra spot to play around with and sneak a guy onto one of these lists. Um, t- to me, uh, other surprises, uh, and I wouldn't necessarily say it's a surprise now, but Jeff Gunter making the 53-man roster. How about that? Kid that's easy to root for. Um, someone, Coastal Carolina, super athletic. We've talked to him one-on-one on this channel. Really, really exciting to see him make this list. Uh, Jake Browning, not a surprise to me. I think it's going to be a surprise to some that wanted to drum up this backup quarterback controversy that just wasn't there. You talked to just members of the Bengals staff and things like that. It just wasn't there. It was Brandon Allen all the way along, uh, all along. And uh, so that uh, not really shocking to me could be shocked to some uh, Lamont Gilliard got released. That's not really a surprise. And, and I'll, I'll just go through these guys right now. Just all 26 guys that the Bengals released. Uh, and, and then they also put Joe Bocci on the physically unable to perform list. But Trayvon Henderson, Noah Spence, Mike Thomas released. Those are the vested veterans. Long snapper, Cal Adamitis, Jake Browning, Drew Chrisman, offensive lineman, Devin Cochran, Dominique Davis on the defensive line, tight end, Nick Eubanks, Lamont Gilliard, and Nate Gilliam, two guards, uh, linebacker, Clarence Hicks, cornerback, Delante Hood, Trent Irwin, the wide receiver. We talked about him. Raymond Johnson, the third, Keandre Jones, Kwame Laster, Thaddeus Moss, which we predicted. Desmond Noel, who is dealing with an injury now. Um, we'll see what happens there. I thought he was certainly a practice squad candidate. Jacquez Patrick, Kendrick Pryor, Justin Rigg, Gray Scales, Tyler Shelvin, uh, Tyrikus Tisdale. So no major shocks, no major surprises to me. At the same time, you, you know, you, you see those guys. And, and that's the thing is that the Bengals practice squad – is, is going to be made up of a lot of these guys. Now, there's going to be some roster maneuvering. Maybe there is uh, you know, a veteran they go after that was released or, or someone that they try to add that was released from another team, not necessarily a veteran. Maybe it's a year or two in or something like that. The Bengals can sign 16 players to their practice squad. All these guys have to clear waivers first, the, the, the final 23 that I mentioned. I think Adam Itis, you know, if he doesn't get picked up at long snapper, Browning, of course. Chrisman, I think they would welcome. Devin Cochran is someone I think that they're going to add as well. Thad Moss, I, I would uh, expect as well. And see, that's the thing is like a Mitch Wilcox. If his injury is serious, well, then they put him on the 53, especially if they expect him back at some point this season, and then move him on to one of those injured lists. So we'll see what happens. That's the initial fallout. Um, if you missed it, we'll have Zach Taylor's news conference following the cutdowns as well right here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk. I'll write about it more on allbengals.com and react to it on the Locked on Bengals podcast. Plus, it's Bengals on the Brain with Joe Goodberry tonight at 8 Eastern, Tuesday night, 8 Eastern. And I'll be back at Paycor Stadium tomorrow. So we'll have plenty to react to, plenty to discuss, maybe a video on certain recently released players that the Bengals should go after. That and more coming your way right here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk. So hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. And for Andrew Fox Miller, I'm James Rapine, signing off for now on CBT. Cincinnati Bengals talk.